Today we're checking out the Bring Arts Kingdom Hearts Free Pirate Sora. So hope you guys have an awesome day, thank you so much for watching, and yeah, let's get into it. Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're checking out the Bring Arts Kingdom Hearts Free Pirate Sora. So yeah guys, I haven't reviewed any Bring Arts figures in such a long time. So I'm super happy to be reviewing these type of figures for you guys again. And uh, yeah, hope you guys like them. I also just want to thank you guys for all the support on my last video. It was really amazing, so really thank you guys so much. Any and all support you guys dropping this video is much appreciated. And uh, yeah, leave a suggestion in the comments below for what video you guys want me to make next. So thank you guys so much for checking out this video, let's get into it. Okay, and so here's a look at the box. So right here at the front we have a nice window display to showcase the figure inside the packaging. So if you want to keep the figure inside the box, you can and you will still get a very nice look at the figure. And here's a look at the side of the packaging. So yeah, it's pretty much your standard packaging for a Bring Arts figure. And here's a look at the back. So we have some nice screenshots of the figure in various poses. And down here we have some text, credits and logos on the making of the figure. And so here's just a quick look at my entire collection of Bring Arts Kingdom Hearts figures. So yeah guys, there's going to be a lot of Kingdom Hearts reviews coming up. So first up here we have the uh, Axel figure. Very nice piece, really cannot wait to check that figure out. Next up we have Riku, we have the second form Sora, uh, here we have the pirate Sora which we're checking out today, and here we have Kairi. Next up here we have the Shadow 2 pack, we have the King Mickey Mouse, we have another form Cloud, and we have another form Sephiroth. So yeah guys, just a look at my entire collection of Bring Arts Kingdom Hearts figures. Lots of reviews coming up guys. Alright, and so here we have the inside of the box. So here's the figure, it looks to be a pretty nice piece. Uh, as you can see we have a whole bunch of accessories, so we have some pairs of hands, we have some head sculpts, and of course we have the keyblade. And here's a look at the uh, display stand. Apart from that we have the instruction manual on how to assemble the figure. So yeah guys, there's a look at the packaging, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the figure. Alright, and so here's the figure of the packaging. So uh, yeah guys, this is a really nice piece. I've really got nothing to complain about on this figure. For the most part, it's a really nice sculpt, nice paint job, and uh, I really love the design of this outfit. It's such a great design for Sora. So yeah guys, super nice piece. Let's go on ahead and take a closer look at the figure. Stay tuned guys. Alright, and so here's a look at the head sculpts. This is one of the cleanest head sculpts that I have seen from Bring Arts. I mean, just the sculpting is absolutely superb. It's a very sharp sculpt, so it's very crisp and clean. I've also got the second form Sora figure that Bring Arts made, but I've got to say, the head sculpt on this figure is so much better. So uh, yeah, they did a really fantastic job here. As you can see, the eyes are painted a very light blue color, which looks really good. I love how clean the paint job is here. The hair is very spiky, and it's also made out of a softer piece of plastic. I quite like the expression on his face. As you can see, he's smiling, and you can kind of see his teeth in there, which looks really good. Bear in mind, the figure does come with three head sculpts in total. So uh, yeah, I'll give you guys a look at the other head sculpts a little bit later on. So the uh, pirate head is also quite nicely done. It's stuck on his head, so uh, you cannot remove it. So as you can see, the necklace is sculpted directly onto the figure, which uh, I don't really like. Uh, I really wish that they made the necklace out of a separate piece of plastic. I think that would have worked much better. 
Uh, it just doesn't look that great sculpted directly onto the figure. So yeah, that's one problem that I've got with this figure. I really wish that these Bringers figures made these necklaces and bracelets out of separate pieces. So yeah, there's how it looks. Although it is pretty nicely painted for the most part. And so here's a look at the clothing. So the clothing is also pretty nicely done. Uh, as I mentioned, I quite like the design of this new Sora. I think the outfit is great and I love the colour scheme. So as you can see, he's got this red shirt and it's got these nice gold paint jobs around the rim of the shirt and on the buttons. It's a very good choice of colours. And as you can see, he's got the belt sculpted around the waist, which is pretty nicely sculpted. I love all the folds and creases. And so here's a look at this hand holding the keyblade. And I've got to say, this is such a cool looking keyblade. It's probably one of the best looking keyblades that I have seen. I just love the design of this keyblade. It's super awesome looking. I love the fact that the keyblade is in theme with the game. So it kind of looks like the steering wheel from the uh, pirate ship, which I think is a really nice touch. And so here's a look at the legs. So as you can see, he's wearing these brown trousers or pants, whatever you want to call them. But uh, yeah, they're pretty standard looking. Uh, he's got these black pinstripes going down the trouser piece, which is a uh, pretty nice looking. It's pretty screen accurate for the most part. And so here's a look at the feet. So as you can see, the boots are pretty large. Uh, they're pretty oversized. So they actually help the figure to stand up straight, which is a really nice feature. So yeah, they're kind of multi-purposed. And so here's a look at the side of the figure. And so we have a nice profile of the face. And I mean, just look at that head sculpt, guys. What an amazing looking head sculpt. This has got to be the best head sculpt of Sora that I have seen from Bring Arts. It's just absolutely incredible. Such a sharp sculpt. And so moving down here to the uh, body piece of the figure. So here's a look at the jacket and the uh, shirt piece. And moving down here to the arm and the hand holding the keyblade. So now the keyblade can actually detach. So it's pretty straightforward to get the keyblade into his hand. It's uh, not much of a problem. So I'll give you guys a look at that a little bit later on. And so here's just a quick look at the figure from the other side. So uh, yeah, I love the pirate hat. I love the fact that it's got the Kingdom Hearts symbol on the hat. It's uh, just a very nice detail. And there's a look at the top of the hat. Once again, as I mentioned, the hat cannot be removed. And uh, here's a look at the side of the jacket piece and the hand. Just in case you guys want to check it out. And then uh, the bottom of the jackets, the legs, and uh, the boots. So yeah, there's the sides of the figure. And so here's a look at the back. So the back is pretty nicely done. I absolutely love this bandana. Uh, as you can see, the bandana is painted a very light blue color, but it's got these kind of dark blue patterns all over the bandana, which looks pretty good. It's a very nice clean paint job. And uh, yeah, I think it looks great. And here's just a quick look at the back and the top of the uh, pirate hat. So yeah, there's a look at the back of the head. And so moving down here to the back of the jacket piece. And so as you can see here, we have all these nice kind of rough patterns inside these square shapes. I'm not entirely sure how screen accurate this is to the game or how close it matches to the game. But uh, me personally, I think it looks great and I've really got no issues here. And this jacket piece is also made out of like a softer piece of plastic. So you can kind of move it about and bend it, which is uh, pretty cool. It really helps with the articulation. Alright, so let's take a look at the head sculpts that come with the figure. So this is the head sculpt that we have seen before. It's the uh, head sculpt with the smiling expression, which uh, yeah, looks very good. I love the uh, sculpt in this one. And next up here, we have a much different looking head sculpt. He's got a very angry expression. He looks very mad. And uh, as you can see, he's got his mouth open. And we can see his tongue and his teeth in there, which are actually very, very nicely sculpted. I'm uh, very impressed with this head sculpt in particular. And uh, lastly, here we have a very normal looking head sculpt. Uh, this is a very neutral expression. There really isn't much expression on this face whatsoever. It's just a very kind of standard looking head sculpt. So uh, yeah, there's a look at all three head sculpts that come with the figure. And so let's check out the articulation. So for the most part, the articulation is pretty good on this figure. Uh, so right here at the neck and the head, we have a ball joint. And here at the shoulders, we have these ball hinge joints. And it's pretty cool because as you can see, the shoulder joint can kind of move up and down, which uh, just allows for a whole range of articulation. Uh, here at the elbows and at the wrists, we have these ball hinge joints once again. And so here's the body piece. So as mentioned, the clothing is very soft, so it doesn't restrict the articulation. So uh, he has a ball joint right there at the uh, torso. And then right here at the waist, he also has a ball joint. And as you can see, it's got a full range of motion. So here at the hips, he has these ball joints. And these are very fluid joints, they're very smooth, 
so they can pretty much move any which way you want. Here at the knees he has the single hinge joints which are only very slightly restricted by the sculpt. Uh, here at the ankle piece he has this ball hinge joint and at the toe he has a hinge joint. So uh, yeah, there's a look at the articulation for the figure. Alright, and so here's a side by side comparison with another Sora figure. So of course right here we have the Pirate Sora and here we have the second form Sora, both from Kingdom Hearts 3. So uh, yeah, there's quite a big difference between these two figures, especially the head sculpt. Uh, I would have to say the Pirate Sora has a much better head sculpt. Uh, it's got to be the best head sculpt that I've seen on any Kingdom Hearts figure out there. It's just an absolutely phenomenal head sculpt. Uh, I do quite like the design of the second form Sora. It's much more iconic looking to the character, which uh, I really do like. But uh, I've got to say, the Pirate Sora is a much better figure overall. So uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend that figure over the second form Sora. Alright, and so here's a look at my entire collection of Bring Arts Kingdom Hearts figures. And uh, yeah, I've got to say guys, these are such fantastic figures. Uh, these are easily some of my favourite Bring Arts figures out there. I mean, if you guys are a big fan of Kingdom Hearts, then you really got to pick these figures up. You really will not be disappointed. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. So first up here, of course, we have the Pirate Sora. Such a nice piece. And next up here we have Kairi, which is also a very, very nice figure. And next up here at the back we have this another form Cloud Strife figure, which is one of my personal favorites. I just love the character. And next up here we have the Axel, and here we have the King Mickey Mouse, which is a, a very long awaited figure. I was waiting a long time to get this piece. And next up here we have the second form Sora. Here at the back we have another form Sephiroth. And next up here we have the Riku figure. And lastly here we have. The uh, Shadow 2 pack. I was uh, very happy that Bring Arts made some Heartless figures. So, yeah, guys, there's a look at my entire collection of Bring Arts Kingdom Hearts figures. Alright, guys, and so that was a look at the Bring Arts Kingdom Hearts 3 Pirates of the Caribbean Pirate Sora. So, yes, guys, this is a really fantastic figure. If you guys are a big fan of the game, then you really gotta pick this figure up. It's by far the best resemblance and likeness to Sora from the game. So, uh, yeah, I highly recommend it, guys. It's very screen accurate. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already and uh, leave a suggestion in the comments below for what video you guys want to see next. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Alright, bye guys.